Good afternoon, YouTube. Random Duck 91 for Not So Epic Gaming. Welcome to episode 17 of The Road to 2500. Episode 17 is a very special episode to me because we've gotten a lot of dog tags since the beginning of this. We started the very first episode, the very first battle. We went in with 2,096 dog tags. 2,096. The start of this episode, we're starting at 2,394. 2,394. For those math nerds out there, that's plus 298 dog tags in 17 episodes. I have not done what that evens out to yet. I'm going to do it right now live on a calculator because I'm too lazy to do it in my head. But I could if I really wanted to. That's averaging 17 and a half dog tags an episode. So basically, 18. We'll say 18. 18, 17. Right there in the middle, it's literally 17.52. So... We have averaged a decent number of dog tags every episode, and I don't think I ever would have gotten this far without having recorded it, without the urge to make videos for this channel, for the occasional people to watch that occasionally watch it, that are not people that already own this channel, or people that I know, which I think is at max, like, five people. But to those five people, I thank you wholeheartedly. I wish more of you would comment on things. The last few comments I've had on videos were... I know there was a video, there was a comment way back when on the Destiny video that we did by a guy we know who was just being a jackwag. Yes, you're a jackwag. I haven't played Destiny in months. Don't tell me to learn my left and right, bro. It's I haven't played in a while. I don't play first-person shooters nonchalantly for fun. They're boring to me. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, gaming community that exists. They're boring to me. But anywho, thank you for giving me the desire to pass up and get my eventual silver trophy, not even a gold, silver trophy, and the 450 gold that go with it, which I don't know what I'll do with it. And I guess, unless this series all of a sudden takes a major upswing, or the channel gets a major upswing from other videos that I do, slash other videos we do in general, and just things seem to be going well, the series will probably end at the 2500 mark. Get the trophy, say thank yous, have some good times. I'll have to figure out something to take its place. I don't know what that'll be. I'll have to look into it. I mean, there's plenty of free-to-play games that I can jump on into. And I know the guys will actually play those that are cooperative games. Maybe they could start doing like a Tuesday, Thursday, some other free-to-play game on the PS4. I don't know. Maybe... Tuesdays could very well become, at least the first Tuesday of the month, could become, like, a PlayStation Plus Tuesday. So that I can be like, hey, look at our new PlayStation Plus games, where I quickly power through them. Actually, that'd be a Wednesday video. Never mind. I'm talking a lot to you about planes that I haven't even thought of. Let's look at the actual battle and discuss the battle for once. Because that's what this series is supposed to get out. We have taken out every single demon this guy has. So now it's just a matter of my troops powering through all of this stuff that he has and winning, basically. We're going to Charlie Sheen this one way or another, yo. That's such an old reference. Kids, if you're out there and you're watching this video, do you get the Charlie Sheen reference? Leave a comment if you do. That was fun. But anyhow, we've made it so far, guys. To think, 17 episodes? That's... This is roughly week 9 of the series going, so... We've made it over two months. We've made it really far, guys. Good job. In that time, I got a new hard drive. I put up a review of a game, and it didn't get just six views. It got 40-some-odd views, so that was good. And there we go. We got a plus 10. We got a major victory. We got 54,000 plus 95,000. And we got ranked up to general one because we got the 2,400 mark in dog tags. Good work, team. And now you'll see that we were at 2404, and now we're down to 2402. The only thing I can assume, because I also have camo, and I know that for a fact that this part happened, I was attacked because Shrika attacked me because he's no longer part of Not So Epic Gaming for reasons. I don't really know why, so he left Not So Epic Gaming on Battle Islands and decided to attack me when he was in a chat with me. He's like, hey, I'm going to attack you with this shit while we're in this chat together, and I'm like... That's cool, whatever, do what you gotta do. He sat there, he's like, oh, you know, yeah, you did pretty good, your defense did pretty good. But, I don't have a replay of that battle. 
maybe we'll get lucky and he'll actually put that battle up if he recorded it. I don't know if he recorded it or not. Maybe he'll make this a, a bonus Tuesday video. Maybe he'll toss up his little three minutes and be like, ha 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 ha. Maybe he has been talking about it. I'm not sure. But, I'm assuming he attacked me and the servers are just stupid because the servers are clearly stupid. Look at all the supplies we picked up. 10? 12? Man, we're done retiring from the game. But anywho, I'm assuming he attacked me and the game just didn't quit show me the actual replay, and that's where those two dog decks came. That's my only assumption. That's the only way I can make sense of it. I didn't fail an attack when, as you saw, I had camo, but I don't have a battle. I'm sure if you quickly pause in there when I... Oh wait, no, I always start these after the... Uh, defense screen. I forgot the word for it. The defense screen. So you guys wouldn't actually have been able to see it, but... I know for a fact I don't have it on there, because I've looked, and I've, I've been looking to see if it'll just pop up magically, and it's not anywhere on there. Oh, the SS Dark Dragon just fell, but he was doing pretty good for himself, actually. Now, he's only got a mortar battery and a single turret remaining for defense. So, we should get another major victory this episode. And I believe about a minute ago my chair squeaked, so I'm going to apologize for that. How many times have I done this? Who knows? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. The mortar men just failed. They barely failed. Like, if they got one more shot off of their bin, one more of them with them, they would have succeeded no problem. Gonna go for it, gonna toss out the SS Trifeth. He's gonna do one shot, and he's done. He did his job. Took out one thing. Maybe because his jerkwad actual namesake decided to attack me and battle out. But I'm not salty about it. He gave me camo. He didn't really take any supplies because he wasn't really trying to hurt me in that weird shape or form. I had to toss out my Air Force right now because I don't honestly think the tanks could get back in time to destroy that. Yeah, there would have been 20 seconds for my tanks to come back and attack that hangar. And I highly doubt they would have been able to do it. But with 15 seconds left on the clock, we actually successfully fail sometimes. I know, guys. Get another plus 10. Let's jump into battle number 3. I might actually talk about this battle. After we refresh a million and a half times. We got 3. We got 4. We got 3. We got 3. We got 4 this time. Nobody I really think I can fight. I'm going to cycle over to the rivals tab. Which I still do not understand guys. I don't honestly know what it does. Here we are again. 4... Cycle over to the reports, which, if you were paying attention, I had a minus 10 as my last attack, as my last defense. So, where the minus 2 comes from, I don't know. I'm going to jump out of this battle right now. He's a level 60. He's lower than me. But, damn, he spent some real-world money, or he's been camoed a lot, or he just ain't taking no sh from nobody. I'm trying to keep it PG, guys. Stay in school. Level 63. This guy's a little higher level than me. A lot lower dog tag, though, which... I guess the dog tag should be the right... The real way that I determine, like... There's... Their level. Like, I know you've got a level, but you can get a level easy from just building. That's usually... That's how you get your level, in all honesty. You get it from building more than anything. I don't actually know if you get any more points for battles. I mean, you get... Experience points for your level from training troops, but you don't actually physically get them for battles anymore. I think you used to. Actually, you may never have. But anywho, jumping on in, mortars destroying people, wrecking shop. I really need to upgrade them to full. Them and the, uh, my, uh, whatchamacallit, my infantry, they both need to get fully maxed out. If they get fully maxed out, game over, bro, game over. They do so much damage. I think that infantry game, like, plus 5 or 6 damage a second when they get from level 7 to level 8. Ridiculous. And the mortars only go up by 1, but that's a very powerful one when they're all together. Go toss out all the planes. I wish I hadn't done this. That was a waste of a lot of planes. They all just melted. Oh, no. Oh, well. 
I'm down to half my troops. It'd be weird if they also got stars and they got dog packs or they got some case on the amount of troops to destroy. Then again, that might be how they get their camo. That could be how their camo's determined. But like, oh, he's got you down fifty percent. He has a defensive star. You got an offensive star. This, that, and the other. But we did destroy the command bunker, so guaranteed win. Guaranteed dineros. That's plus a hundred thousand bonus. Anything else on top of that's just cake. It's a bonus. It's a bonus on a bonus. I don't know where I'm going with these guys. But yeah, no. Let's see what these guys can do. Toss out one little mini dart. Toss out another little mini dart. I was kind of hoping you'd attack, you know, that nice supply depot there. And not go all the way over there to attack it. You know, so you're not attacked by the mortar. But look at all those warships. Look at that. Look at the not so epic navy just rocking that auto cannon. I think we're gonna do it though, guys. Two stars. If I had more planes, we'd be able to do it, I should say, because he has nothing to attack a plane. He's got tanks. If I had all of my planes still, the work we would be doing right now, guys, they would just shred everything instantly. I should really work on upgrading those things. They're not super expensive or anything. Okay, we're gonna settle for two stars. Two stars plus seven, eight dog packs here, so I'm gonna guess plus seven. Always guess lower, guys. Always makes you feel better. So you get plus eight, it's like, haha, I got a surprise. But I will see you on Thursday for the next Splendiferous, I've used that word before too, episode of the road to twenty five. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a suggestion on what you'd like to see us do next in the comments section below. If you'd like to keep up with us, you can follow us on Twitter at NotSoEpicGaming. If you'd like to keep up with me and talk with me directly, you can follow me on Twitter at RandomDuck91. Relevant links will be in the description below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And above all else, stay epic.